Hey everyone, that's Gold here, and today I have a tutorial on how to set up your World of Warcraft bartender add-on. Uh, so this video is kind of a continuation onto the series I've got going of setting up your interface and how to do all that. Uh, I'll put that other video, the kind of introduction and what add-ons to get, all that business in the description and I'll probably link it to put it on this video in a little box somewhere of some sort. And we'll just pretty much go from the basics of how to set up Bartender. Okay, so for this, for this example, I'm going to use my mage. So what I've done is I've just made all of his bartender settings preset. And what I've done is I've removed all of his spells. Uh, you may want to do this yourself. If you haven't got a too dedicated rotation, just remove everything. And then it'll be kind of be easier to see what bars we need and what bars we don't. When getting started in setting up Bartender, you want to kind of get the settings going up on your screen. So up here we've got an icon on our minimap, you can click that, otherwise if you've got Titan panel or any of those tiny kind of add-ons where it just moves the icons area. In interface, just make sure that's ticked. And then top right will be Bartender, just click that. And then on the side of that, go general, slash bar, and then you get the settings. So it makes it a little bit easier to see what bars we're moving, buttons we're moving, menus we're moving, and all of that kind of jazz. Okay, to make it easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from bar 1 all the way down to XP bar, and I'll kind of explain which ones need to be enabled and which ones need to be disabled. So just go through and copy what I do if it makes it easier. So bar 1, we enable. Bar 2, we enable bar 3 and bar 4, personally I disable them, they're the ones on the right. The reason why I do this is because normally I would just use them for mounts or professions, but I kind of like that more clean, non-spells popping up everywhere or other unnecessary stuff just on your screen, so I kind of get rid of that. And then bar 5 and bar 6 will keep. And if you choose to put bar 7, 8, 9, 10, personally I've had a bad experience. I find it just like copies out spells or something like that. It just does some weird stuff. Just you don't want to overkill your screen with bars and all that jazz. So bag bar enable that. Extra action bar enabled. Micro menu enabled. Pet bar, you want to keep that if you've got a pet. Me, I'm a mage, I've got my water elemental. I will keep that. Stance bar, you can't click on it if you don't have any stances, so warriors, DKs, all that, it'll be handy to keep it. Vehicle bar enabled. Reputation bar I disable because I don't like having two bars, uh, and etc, etc. Uh, Blizzard art bar, I get rid of that straight away, can't stand it for some reason, just takes too much up, but it depends what interface you're looking for. XP bar, I'm leveling up, I'm only 85 on this character, so we want to keep that. Okay, so just to recap, we've pretty much taken all our spells off our bars, we've gone through what bars and we need, and pretty much what we're going to do now is we'll just close that, and we'll just move everything out of proportion. Now, it may sound a bit silly, but it'll just make it easier to rearrange later. So just move all your bars, buttons, micro menus, menus, all of that jazz, just to different areas of the screen. Now, what I mean idea is to put everything kind of in the middle, all nice and neat. So we go extra X, ah, uh, we go XP bar, not extra XP bar, I don't know where I got that from. And pretty much what I do is I try locking everything into the middle. So if we grab a bar, how it works is if we start from right, drag it, you can do it to the left if need be. It'll eventually lock into the middle and you can kind of just determine where the middle of your screen is, like so. And we'll just get all of that going. So XP bar, drag it into the middle. If you don't want it to lock, just hold shift and it doesn't have that lock. So XP bar locks into the middle, bar 6 goes on top of that. Now pretty much just, we want to get that directly on top so we'll maneuver that later. Bar, f sorry, you want bar 1 first, you want to work from bar 1 to bar 6. Personally it doesn't matter how you do it, it's just I find it, it's a lot cooler to do and it just kind of makes a bit more sense in the end. Okay, so we've got our XP bar here, we've got our bars on top of one another from 1 to 6, and what we want to do is move the micro menu, extra action bar, bag bar to the right, because we'll be changing them up later, as well as the vehicle bar. So to get started with, what you want to do is you want to go back to your settings slash bar, and your bar 1, what you want to do is you want to change the padding. So click on the category, 
and there's alpha under that padding and make it zero and you want to do that from bar one to bar two to bar three no to bar five to bar six so pretty much all the bars you're kind of using at the moment so zero padding and pretty much what it does is it does it just makes sure your spells don't have spaces in between them cleans it up makes it look a little bit nicer okay and i think i missed one no that seems pretty right to me and it'll kind of change their area their position just move them all back into place like so and then once that's done we are ready to put in our spells soon okay so we've got that action going there that's pretty much done we can back off from that area a bit now we want to go down to the lower settings and the we'll start off with the micro menu because it kind of everything kind of leads off from that uh, what I do is I make the rows so it'll be six by two that we'll look for so we want six rows by two and we want to change the scale to something a bit smaller because I find that a bit too big at the moment. And I changed that to 0 0.85. Yep, that's what we're looking for. And just put it directly down the bottom right. And then the bag bar, you keep the same size. Like so, if you want to see those settings, I haven't changed anything. And vehicle bar just goes down the side. You can put this on top of the bag bar. Uh, personally, I just chuck it down below the bottom left. Extra action bar, we're just going to put on top of here. And what we want to do is we want to put the pet bar on top of bar 6. But if you haven't got a pet bar, just make sure that extra action bar, uh, action button, well bar, whatever you want to call it, just goes on top of bar 6. So it goes like so. So that's pretty much our basic looking bartender interface. Now, what your main idea is to do is to obviously kind of get your spells back into place and then you can kind of just change it up a bit more to look a, make it look a bit more nicer. Okay, so pretty much what we want to do, just for example, if we were to put a couple of spells into place, you can't put spells into place while lock is on. So just kind of chuck them from your spell book in like so. And that padding that we went over before, the reason why we wanted to do that is because if we kind of look, there'll be a gap in between. That's kind of the size of the gap would have if the original padding was in place. And it kind of just gives it a better look like so. And now what we'll see here is a gap in between, unless you've just perfected it at first. What I like to do is you don't have to get the settings up, just get the locking settings up all that yeah you get what i mean and just drag them on top like so so we'll get our spells back up close all that for now and then we'll just put in random ones like so once again we can see a massive gap from before just put in a couple so we can kind of see what's happening like that so guys, kind of just a rough example of just kind of getting the idea of this and then just drag them on top. It doesn't matter if they overline a bit like so, that's got a bit of overline, that's got a bit of a gap. Just make sure they all look nice and neat together. None of, no spells are overlapping, you don't want them overlapping like so. That's not a nice clean look. You want them just perfectly in line with one another. Okay, so pretty much what I've done is I've just gone through, chucked some spells in. I haven't been on my major in a while, so I haven't gone through detailedly putting the spells. Uh, just one thing, if we want to go on to our bartender locking business. For, so bar one, pretty much I usually just put my in-game spells, in action spells I mean, as well as bar two. So they're pretty, bar one and two are more of the bars I use for kind of in fights, where bar five and six are uh, kind of just on the side, you got your baths, all of that kind of stuff, and mana tables, all that business, and pet bar on top, all that stuff. There's not much really to it, pretty much you can set up yours by looking at pictures online, videos online of how people set up theirs, or you can kind of just go down the road of setting up the way just you want and totally changing it. That's what's so good about Bartender, it's so flexible and you can do it just the way you want. And just a quick recap, you can always pause the video on the settings where you kind of missed, but otherwise pretty much what we did was just the bars we used, we changed the padding to zero, 
micro menu pretty much all we did was just change the scale to 0 0.85 and the rows will be 6 so you'll have a 6 by 2 matrix kind of going on there that's really all there is to it once again you can change the settings up to benefit yourself okay so that is pretty much bartender in a nutshell if there's a note i can leave with this video is that bartender is a very unique add-on and pretty much however you set up your interface there will be no right and wrong which is always great and you can always set it up and yours will always be different to someone else's and i advise you go through some different settings change up some things just to make it kind of a little bit funner to use and just get some more experiences into this add-on uh saying that if you need any help feel free to message me comment on this video anything like that i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and thank you for watching this video also good luck on setting up your perfect interface